That's super important for me to nail that stretch. And that's one thing that I've, you know, gotten pretty good at is like keeping that stretch down. There's a few things that I really like hammer on. Uh, one thing that I've actually been testing, um, this last round was a negative DIS. It's uh, running like a hotter temperature at night than you're running during oh, the day. Oh, I, I, I know. I'm yep. aware about this. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. And it works. It works. It works. It worked, yeah. it worked yeah. great. I, I, I had uh, the same exact cultivar with Sherb Cake. Um, I ran um, last round. I flipped it at like 12, 12, 13 inches. This round, I flipped it at 12 to 13 inches. I did the same exact everything. I run like power sci foliars every two to three days for the first like couple weeks of stretch that keeps the stretch down. Um, running like a, you know, increased light, light intensity. I'm acclimating way heavier, way earlier. I'm pinching the plants as they go up. And this round I added that negative DIF. I, I bumped that temperature at night. I, Give me some numbers. Okay. So I'm, so I'm running right now. I'm, it's, you don't really want to run it too much. So what I've, what I've read is that if you're running like over a five degree differential, so if you're running like a 75 degree leaf surface temperature during the day, you want to run like 80 leaf surface temperature at night. And you do this during the stretch, yep. first three weeks of yep. flower, right? Exactly. exactly. Okay. So if you run more of, of a, a differential at night, um, if you're running like an 83 or 84, you know, upwards of like a seven, 10 degree difference, you're actually going to steal, see a little bit more chlorosis happening in the plants. And that first beginning stage, like you need everything to be on point. Those plants are, are using sure. a lot of energy and everything. So if something gets tripped up right at the beginning stage like that, you're not going to get the bud set that you want. You're not going to get that, get that stack that you want. Everything's not going to really line up. So I, I, I nailed it down. Honestly, it was like one of my first times playing around with it. I nailed it and I've got like, I, I need to be like seven to nine inches from the lights and I've freaking nailed it perfect the last round before that without the negative dif i ran uh I, I ended up having to bend my branches over on the top parts of the plants i still got way too much stretch like i said same cultivar same same flip length all that kind of stuff and i i actually played a little bit with that yeah before so i knew about this for like okay. a year or so i read like if you want to control the stretch you need to keep the night temperature like if not as same as the day, yep. like as close as possible. But you say that you run the night temp like five degrees hotter, hotter than the day mm -hmm. temp, and that prevent the stretch. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's 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 what they use. I I believe in some like tomatoes, yeah, cultivars it's, and stuff like and that. That's that's where I got it from. Was was there's a lot of other research on other plants it that is. This, this works. It is. That's <laughs> that's where I get my information. Yep. Yeah, and you I have to pull it from that because yeah. if you're pulling it from like forums and stuff like that, it's just a bunch of people that are experimenting. You've got variables that are all over the place. You can't actually nail anything down with that. There's a lot of stuff that's already been proven in exactly. other plants that yeah. we can pull over. You know, exactly. but it should work.